go. <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for The Forest. And I have two things written on my notepad for this game, okay? Only two things. Get the modern bow, do building videos. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I really wanna get the modern bow, but my god, you are fired up for the building videos. How can I How can I stop doing building videos with the kind of engagement that I am getting right now? We're eventually gonna get the modern bow, maybe next episode. Definitely the episode, well, I shouldn't say definitely, but... I'm gonna get it. I wanna get it soon. I really do. But my God, I'm having a great time building. Um, the creativity is flowing. You guys are loving the videos. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be working on the storage area for this video. All right, so this is gonna hold two things. All right, it's gonna hold log sleds and a farm. This is really big just to hold log sleds and a farm. Um, I mean, I guess I can make it a really big farm. Uh, let's take a look. I, honestly, I don't think there's anything else I really wanna put down here, right? So this is all the stuff you can, this is all the stuff you can store, right? Um, I could put some drying racks down here. Yeah, I could put some, yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Could put some, like, the food thing, you know, gardens, drying racks, maybe some, well, I guess putting water collectors down here wouldn't make any sense because the water wouldn't be able to get in here, so I won't do that. Um, but I'm thinking the gardens and the drying racks, and if we ever start catching rabbits, maybe some rabbit cages. I'll probably put some rabbit cages down just in case, but I don't know, I usually don't capture rabbits. There's not much really need for it. Um, stick holders are going to go upstairs. Uh, I don't, any need for log holders. Um, because there's log sleds, uh, rock holders, again, sticks and rocks are going to go upstairs, weapons, explosives, uh, small cabinets for, I think that holds, um, medicine. This one right here holds food. Those are going to go upstairs. Skin racks can go upstairs. Arm. Yeah. All this stuff's going upstairs. This is basically just going to be like farm stuff and, um, food stuff and log sleds. Okay. Um, by the way, when I come in here, guys, um, I don't have to cut these uh, these little bushes down. You know, the ones that drop sticks. That when I walk over here, because they're inside of my foundation, they automatically break. Which I just find really, really cool. Alright. So we're going to get this out of here, and we are going to start planning. Now, I think the log sled area needs to be the closest to the entrance. Because I can't be bringing log sleds through a farm, right? So, um, I'm also going to be using stick... Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to use um, stick fence up here. There's three kinds of fence you could do. You could do bone fence, stick fence, or rock fence. Now, I'm going to have plenty of rock in this base because the the, the walls are going to be rocks. So I think stick fence would look pretty good up here. And I think we'll probably make the farm first. And uh, let's just see how we want to do this. All right, trying to place these things down is really annoying because they are right at my feet. And I, it's really hard to line them up. Um, also... Check this out, man. I forgot you could do this. <laughs> it's insane. Um, I'm not going to make one that big because you'd have to trample all over your crops uh, to get to certain parts of it. Um, I like it kind of more like thin, like this, um, and maybe longer. So I'm going to be uh, having, I guess, two main crops or three. I, I don't really remember. What, yeah, you know what? I'm going to need one for everything, I think. Um, how many plants are there in this game? I should probably look into that. Hey right, guys, it's still a little dark in the morning, so I'm going to put on old Texas so you guys can see a little bit better. And this is what I've got going on so far. Um, I was going to actually put all these, uh, like, plant beds up against the wall. Uh, that would have been my ideal situation. But I like the idea of them being close to the side so they can get sunlight. No, it doesn't matter in the game at all, but I kind of like that. Um, I also need something in the middle, so I put some drying racks up here. I might be able to put a couple more in there. You know, and um, I put a plant bed over here, and I think that's going to be good. I don't like the way there's two over there and one over here. Uh, but the thing is, I only need to plant three items, as far as I know. Um, you can plant mushrooms, but something about they can't be planted underground, or maybe you, they can. I don't really know anything about mushrooms, so I'm going to leave those alone for now. Uh, but, yeah, so I got blueberry seeds. Um, I've got aloe and coneflower. Um, as of the wiki saying, there's no marigold seeds in the game, and there's no chicory seeds. We can't... Um, we can't grow those. That's what the wiki said. So, we'll see. Um, I think I'm going to go outside and cut down that tree because it is in the way. It's kind of bothering me. I also think I should get some food. I stayed up all through the night uh, because, like, I actually went to, like, read the wiki and I left my game open. Like, usually what I do is I, I pause the game, like, by, you know, just hitting escape, going to the escape menu. And I forgot to do that. So, when I came back, it was midnight, so I couldn't go to sleep. Uh, but that is all right. That is just fine. Let's go and eat one of these fishies. And then I'm going to come down here. The cool thing about this stuff is blueberry seeds I can eat. Aloe stuff will... will um, aloe will... Uh, what do you call it? 
uh, cl uh, cure me of infection, heal me, all kinds of stuff like that. And coneflower can be mixed with stuff for energy mix, which uh, will give me my energy back, obviously, per the the, the term energy mix. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's pretty freaking cool. Also, it's really dark under here, so maybe I'll just keep Texas on for now until I get some lights. Oh, no, no, that's, that's all right. That's fine. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, maybe I should make another one down here. I think I want to. I don't like the idea of three on one and four on the other, but the thing is, I don't want this to be too far down either because it's going to get in the way of the log sluts coming. Yeah, that's going to get in the way of the log sluts coming up. So if I'm going to put this here, it's simply got to be smaller. Um, all right, well, that's fine. We could do that. So go about right here. Sure, why not? There we go. We got a little one there for anything else we want to do. And if we want, we can always take out these racks and, you know, put more in here. It leaves room for openings. Now we have to decide where we're going to put the log sleds. All right, so what we need for that is we simply need stick fencing. Or stone. Should I use stone? Nah, I'm not going to use stone. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's, a, that's actually pretty freaking cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this stuff right here is pointless, but who cares, man? It looks cool, and that's the point. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one, get rid of that one for the entrance, and then we got to get rid of these over here, which are just not, you know, doing anything. All right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Be careful what you're looking at so you don't get rid of stuff you don't want to. It's pretty cool that we can get rid of stuff in the walls. I'm really happy about that. I thought that was going to be a, um, a serious, serious issue. Look at that. That is so neat. I like that. The building in this game has gotten so much better than when I, like, back in the day. It's kind of in incredible, to be honest. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better. Okay, and you. Can I get rid of you, please? There you go. All right. Wow. Hells to the freaking yeah, we need a lot of sticks. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm so, I'm, I'm so torn between walls and sticks, uh, stone, stone walls and stick walls at this point but like i said i'm gonna stick with the sticks <laughs> no pun intended um yeah that would look pretty freaking dope as well it would it would look more it would look um it, you know what that would look you know what that would look like that would look more uh um imposing defensive uh, i don't know i gotta think about this all right i know i got mental problems when it comes to this kind of stuff guys and i apologize but I just couldn't decide. And I'm going to tell you right now what the ultimate decision came down to was I like the sticks because of the airflow. The uh, the stone walls are solid walls. The sticks will give more airflow through here. I don't know if that really matters for a farm, but it couldn't be bad, right? I kind of feel like this should be somewhat open. And the less open it is, I think the worse it's going to be. So, yeah. All right. So, we're going to go with the sticks. All right. So, now we got the sticks all around. We need to decide where exactly we are going to put the log sleds. So... Now we're going to grab these sticks and press C. Are they going around? Are they going around again? Yeah, they were. Okay. So we're going to press C and we're going to kind of connect these right here. Right there. And bring this over here. I need an entrance for this um, farm. So I'm thinking uh, this come out to about here. Uh, yeah, that works. Just come over to here, and I'm gonna leave some more room. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I want to leave more room for the farm. I'm not gonna leave room for that many log slides. Uh, so I do want to re leave room for the farm for extra farming things, um, and that'll be on this side for more farm plots if I decide I want to use them. Like maybe if I figure out how to grow mushrooms inside, you know, for a future thing. I just don't want to deal with that right now. It's too much, so I think that'll work. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. Try and keep this as straight as possible. Come through here. And like that. Then we come up here. And oh look at that snapping into place. I love it. Not gonna need not gonna need a ton of room over here. So and we're not gonna leave any extra room over here for farm plots. If we do more farm plots, it's gonna be on the other side. So that works like that. Okay. And then we come down here and just uh connect it to here, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Actually, let's do it like this. Let's just press E. There we go. And this will be where you put the log sleds. Should be a lot of room for log sleds. Now, where do you want the entrance for the... I guess the entrance has got to be like right here, right? I mean, isn't that like a perfect spot for it? 
for the entrance for the uh, farm. Yeah, yeah, that's the perfect. I mean, that's pretty, pretty obvious. Uh, well, what if we put another uh, set of things there? We'll put the entrance right here just in case. All right, so that's going to be the entrance. Come over here. This is the farm area, the food area. Looking pretty good. Come over here. We can plant a bunch of stuff. Oh, and then we can put the log sleds over here. And I'm not going to have any like specific areas for the log sleds. Just kind of throw them in there. Um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and bring a log sled up. We're going to do the fencing last because if you do the fencing first, it's going to be harder to get around in there. Um, oh, yeah, I got to come up backwards, don't I? So, oh, man, this thing is freaking dope, man. Dope as fuck. Love it. And then this thing would just come right into here, and we can just keep all our log sleds right here. We should be able to keep quite a few log sleds in here. You know? So, yeah, that works. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring a log sled over here, and we're going to build up some of these bad boys. We have to cut down some trees today. I didn't think I was going to have to do that, but apparently I am. It's only six logs per. That's not too bad. There we go. And I'll put two more in here. Come on. We should put our blueberry one over here. Because this is going to be the closest, and that's going to be the, probably the one I want. Um, let's see how many seeds we have. we got uh, one aloe seed, eight blueberry... Alright, we need to go get some more aloe, for sure. No doubt. Um, I don't remember exactly how the planting in this game goes. But I do think that with the blueberries, you have you like, you like lose the blueberry plant. You know? But I think the other ones, you don't... I, honestly, I don't remember. I really don't remember. Um, I haven't played this game in a while, and I don't think I farmed last time I played, or if I did, I didn't do a lot of it. So, alright, so we need to get some trees. So there's one tree that's in the way, so we're gonna come over here and chop down this son of a bee. Get this thing down. We need to we need to put some lights in there as well. Maybe I should put some lights down before I finish the fencing, and then I can kind of put the lights inside the fencing. That might be pretty cool. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the game before I cut down this tree, because, um, yeah, I'm not foolish. Well, okay, that's a lie, but, um, I'm not foolish about this. In this one very, very uh, significant instance, I, I remember not to be foolish. It's been known to happen. Man, look at all those freaking hammers on the screen. I think I can turn those off. Can I turn just the hammers off? Um, show HUD, show overlay. See, the overlay turns off. Oh, yeah, just the hammers. Cool. Wow, that's perfect. Yeah, I think that fence is going to look bad as bra. All right, let's cut the one down in front. Can trees still hurt you if they fall on you? I know they used to be able to, but I haven't been hurt by a tree in a while. So, man, we got to get that freaking chainsaw. <laughs> well, no, we don't because I want to get that strength up. Speaking of strength, let's see how strong my guy is. This should be a beast. Really? 31.9? Is that because I haven't been eating properly or... I feel like it should be higher. I cut down a lot of trees last episode. If I'm going to be doing a bunch of tree cutting, I should probably like look at the strength first. 31.9 is not, like, high at all. That's very low. So, and we're going to cut this one out. Nope, I don't want to hit that. Come on. There we go. We'll cut this one out, too, so those leaves don't, you know, go on the side of our building and annoy us. Okay. All right, looking good. It's all coming up cage. All right. Let's grab some of these logs. Let's get in there. I'm going to redo pretty much the whole wall, like around the base. Like I had the wall set up, but then I just start taking it down one piece at a time. And now I don't see another wall around the base anymore. Maybe we should go to the uh, cannibal camp and get some... I want to do some... I also want to do some um, hunting. But I think we should go to the cannibal camp today as well. That's not going to hit my base, right? Nah, not even close. Not even close. I'll get some dynamite too. You know, I... Uh, Okay, I gotta get some dynamite. To hell with it. Alright, now how's my strength going up in those two trees? Oh yeah, it did. Went up 0.1. Okay. I wonder if it's going down. People said it shouldn't go down. But I don't know. I feel like it should be higher with all those trees I cut down. See, it's like two trees gave me 0.1. So, every four trees should give me one point of strength. I cut down a lot of trees last episode. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up the blueberry one first. So we can get some blueberries planted. And this one right here is going to be the blueberry one. Because again, I want it to be as close to the entrance as possible. And I'm not going to make it that one because that's going to be a small one. So, Okay, beautiful. And if you press R, 
Oh, so you just plant it all in one spot. If you press R, you can switch between uh, items. So C, 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 C. There we go. All right, cool. Now I could just pr I could plant everything in there, but I don't know. I don't want to do it that way. Let's go ahead. We don't have enough to finish it. Well, we will. I'm going to finish this one over here, and then I'm going to plant the aloe, and then we're going to get on out and uh, check out what's going on at the cannibal camp. See, what's, see what the dealio is at the cannibal camp. Well, the good news is I'm not going to need any more logs for this episode. I got everything finished in there. Um, the bad news is I'm going to need about 700 sticks. <laughs> now, I probably don't need 700 sticks. There's probably other places I need sticks. But who knows? This might be 700 sticks here. Um, that's the blueberry farm. And right here, I did plant one aloe vera. Uh, I can't see it. But I... Oh, there it is. See a little mound right there? And this is going to be for chicory. Or no, not chicory. That's going to be for coneflower. All right, well, let's go... Uh, we're going to be looking for seeds. We're going to be uh, messing with some cannibals. It's going to be awesome. Let's go Let's go check out the cannibal camp. This freaking base is just going to be like... Ugh. I don't even know what to say, man. It's just going to be ridiculous. It's, it's probably going to be the biggest base I ever made. Um, two seasons ago, I think. Last season was kind of a non-starter. But the season before that, I built a ginormous freaking compound. And um, as long as these videos keep getting the views they're getting, this, this base is going to be even bigger. Because I got plans, and I'll make these freaking videos all day as much as you guys want to see them. Um, and it seems like everyone's into it. All right, so let's come on up here, and let's see what we got. I do have to get some soda, some dynamite, some food. Um, I could probably do it. Some, oh, I should have dropped some rope off before I came up here. All right. Well, too late now. All right. Oh, I was supposed to put down um, rabbit cages too. All right. Well, you know what? If we don't get rabbit cages down, that's fine. But if I find some spots for them, I'd probably put them down. All right. So what is this? I can't tell what tr Oh, that's those little blackberries. Can I collect seeds from these? Do I have to eat them to collect seeds? Because I think these things... How do you pick them? Because there's got to be a way to pick them. Make a, oh, I know. Right? Can I... Oh, there we go. See, because the cool thing with these is you can um, you can make poison with these. Now, I don't know how good that really is, but whatever. I can check it out. I don't think you get seeds from these, though, which is kind of a shame. Um, that's why maybe, uh, maybe if I do farm mushrooms, that could be pretty cool because mushrooms can be used to make poison arrows as well. And you can obviously farm them. Um, oh, oh, God. There's three of them right there. What the freaking hell? Did you see that? We got Virginia. We got Cowman. And we got Armsy. Oh, my God. And I have no TNT. I would throw a TNT. Right oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Um, Money. Money, money, money. I have money right here somewhere. Duct tape. I have duct tape, right? God, my, my inventory's a mess. I have no idea where duct tape would be. You guys probably do. You're probably like, Cage, it's right there. But really, I did pick up duct tape. Where the hell is it? There it is. And... Is that like... Cash? No, it's not cash. What is that? Oh, that's a circuit board. Okay, I do have a circuit board. No, I already put the circuit board on there. What am I missing? The booze. There we go. All right, here we go. Do I have to... I don't know if I have to do anything with it. <laughs> I just hit Virginia. There you go, Virginia. Burn! Burn, baby, burn! I don't have any more circuit boards, so... Oh, she's pissed. She is pissed. At least I got her here by herself. Uh, there we go. Uh, you know what? Let's bring up the bow. And use the good arrows. There you go. She don't like that. It's the best way to do range damage without fire. Uh, you die now. Damn, woman. Give me my arrows back. Give me your skin. Thank God they didn't coordinate and attack me together. That would have sucked. Give me all my arrows. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the flare gun. Why not? Can I get more? Are flares... Guys, can you let me know in the comments? Are flares... Um, respawnable like can i get more later 
Yeah, let me know before I go using them all in this situation. Okay. There we go. Now, Cowman sucks. Because that mother effort will get at you in a second. And you will get knocked down. Okay. He is not a happy camper. Look at him burn. Big fool. You gonna stop burning? He's gotta stop burning pretty soon. I don't know where Armsy went. He just left. Oh, shoot. Nope, Armsy's right there. They're kind of sticking together now. It looks like they're heading towards my base. Shit. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the TNT and throw it at them. Because the hell with that. It's getting dark. Can't have the darkness. Now, I don't... Well, actually, I'm not going to say I don't mind the darkness. It does scare the crap out of me. But I kind of enjoy that. But I won't make dark videos. Ever. To hell with that. If I do, it was a mistake. All right, where's that TNT? There it is. Grab this to run for stamina. Ugh. Get away from me. Now, where'd they go? Should I let them wander off? Hmm. I think if I let them wander off, they'll despawn. They might have already despawned, actually. Nope, they didn't despawn. All right, leave me alone, dude. I'm trying to blow up your buddies here. Leave me alone. There you go. <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> Come on. I wanna watch. I wanna watch. I wanna watch. Hell yeah. Blew them the hell up. I don't know what they're doing over there. They don't seem to be too concerned that someone's throwing dynamite at them. Alright, whatever. I'll kill him from afar. Ain't no thing to me. I'm gonna save my other two dynamite though. Got him. You pissing me off, dude. Guess motherfucker. Uh. Okay, I was afraid that was um old Chargy McChargerson. Dude, what's going on here? All right, you. Too late for you. Check out that strength, huh? All right, it's getting dark, man. We gotta kill. We gotta kill these fools. No, let's let's do this. Come on. Son of a bitch. How can he not see me? I must be like some kind of ninja. There you go. Switch to the good arrows. There you go. This dude gonna kill you ass! Oh god. I told you he chops down trees. There you go. Yeah, it's getting dark as hell. Alright, let's grab his skin. I wish I could have fought these guys like in this light. Although maybe it's more scary for you guys if it's dark. But not too dark. So we're gonna go M13. Oh god, M131 is even working. Oh, we got a fire guy over there. Alright, let's just get back to base. I'ma let um I'ma let old uh old Chargy McChargerson go about his business. Or am I? And I'd really like to kill him. Put all the effort into getting his hit points down. And I never killed him. Alright, well, it is what it is. Man, these sons of bitches are back at my base. I'm, I'm just trying to get my, my area over there finished. But now they're back at the base. Well, joke's on them, because this is the bone zone. So, yeah, you, got, you guys done fucked up. Yeah. Growl you want, bro. I got chased back, by the way. Right, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, I, mean, I can't see shit. Alright, that's a fire guy. That's not good. He will throw fire at me. And hurt me pretty bad. It looks like these things already killed some of these guys, though. 
Oh boy. See, they could jump over them sometimes. <laughs> Sucker. Yeah, this killed a few of them, actually. Ah! Oh, fire guy. What's the matter with you? You know better than that. Yeah, guys, I thought I was going to get this thing done. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I need too many sticks. And I still got to go out and get food. Um, the food is really becoming an issue, which is why I want to grow the, the blueberries. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to go out and get food at some point, uh, which is pretty much right after I end this video. Um, I did set up some lights here, though. I was going to put the lights inside of the fence, but then I decided against it. I think it kind of looks cool outside of the fence. So, there we go. We got some lights up. And I will dump the rest of the sticks, and I think we're going to call it a video. Man, I thought I'd get more done than this, but... You know, we got a lot done, though. We got a lot done. You know what the thing is? Getting attacked by those, um, uh, by the uh, mutants was, um, really held me back. Uh, yeah, so there's our blueberries. They're starting to grow, which is wonderful. And, um, yeah, so that's cool. All right, guys, we are going to call this one here. If you have been enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.